<laughs> Captain Legs. <laughs> the half the hog. Uh oh. Yeah, yeah. Mike, so Mike well. carried over. Drill some holes in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome home. <laughs> You're coming too. From Washington State to now sunny California. We've been at it for five years. It began with selling our previous boat and taking that money to buy tools and build a shed. We assembled keel pieces, poured the ballast, and raised all 16 frames in the first six months. There's a boat in there. Now, half a decade later, and at a slower but steady pace, we're in the water. We're salt and tar, and this is our life. Like, subscribe, and support if you can. Welcome back. Last week, we rounded our main boom and got it on the boat. The boom will stay as is until we get our sails, which should be hitting the lofting floor real soon. But this week we're doing something totally different. We're welcoming a new captain to the block. Hoffa and Garrett have known each other since the sixth grade, and this is his first sailboat. Meet Freya, an Allegra 24 he just bought for a thousand bucks. She certainly has her problems. So, this is, the, those are the beds, not just the mounts. That's, okay. that's the that's beds the where the, the engine mounts bolt onto that. Mm -hmm. And this is the steel. Steel's just coming out. That's steel. Jeez. That side's even worse. Yeah. There's nothing holding this engine in place but habit. Besides the engine, she also has some leaks, which have led to rot mainly in the aft cabin face. But she's a stout, ocean-going pocket cruiser. We've lucked out with the weather. It's been raining <laughs> for like a week. Ooh, it's cold. <laughs> a lot of water that's not in your boat. Garrett and I have had six ocean-going boats together before building Red Aviva, and they all started rough. So Hoffa knew who to call to help him and this girl get sailing on a budget. His life has always been around the water, fishing and foraging, and now the pieces have fallen into place for him to live on it. Day one always begins the same, out with the old busted crap. It's always been one of my favorite parts, sorting through what's useful and what's garbage. Bag one. Bag one. It can be shocking, confusing, oddly satisfying, and rewarding. Oh, yeah, a brand new sailor's palm, dude. That is <laughs> kick ass, man. Oh, yeah. Oh my god! It looks like your engine mounts. <laughs> <laughs> I got a wetsuit! Yes. Like the 80s. It's it was pristine! <laughs> it's just a little drier out there, boss. Don't worry, everybody's got it. Are we holding on to that? Nope. Okay. A couple different anchors in there. Did you see your mushroom? Look at that little guy. Oh, 
and the top of a bronze bell. <laughs> Feel how light it is though. Where did it go? What would be the purpose of that though? Ooh! Oh, there's even a bottle. That's nice. Nice. <laughs> They thought ahead. Well, as long as you get the crap out, then you can see everything better. We could start to see the hull, and everything staying on board got put back neatly, and a proud captain could see his prize. sails are up except for the fourth one that we found in the boat and it's a drifter that might be next time because our light is rapidly leaving us and yeah it's it's rotten obviously but yeah it's rotten it's such a tiny boat and it's got such a strong hull and there's a layer of fiberglass in between everything and the rod like the deck's got a fo solid fiberglass layup that's why it, it's so solid in your foot still see the difference just one day of cleaning and airflow made so much so water much it looks good just leave all the floorboards up and everything when we leave too yeah. leave everything as open as possible runs, but it's not really attached to the boat. So the debate is go through the hassle of reintegrating it with the boat or slap an outboard to her transom. That kills her. Such a good price and it's so solid. Yeah. It's a great boat to learn on how to do stuff and there's plenty of shit to learn how to do oh, stuff. Yeah. Looking at that corner behind you. <laughs> yeah. The plywood's replaceable. The stay sole is pretty tired. The main and the Yankee are like, they're, they're old, but they're usable, totally usable. Hoffa needs to leave this slip by the end of the month. So the quickest way is an outboard. And the most reliable oh is a new one. <laughs> so shiny. <laughs> so good. I've never seen so much new stuff in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Peace. 
fever. That sounded hefty. How you know what's good? It's as crusty as you. Ooh. Probably could think about it longer. Oh, certainly could. We barely thought about it at all. <laughs> Spent more time drinking White Claws than thinking about the placement of that mountain. <laughs> I mean, the great thing about a fiberglass boat is, you know, if you drill a hole and it's in the wrong spot, you know, you just put some more epoxy in it. It'll be fine. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, Getting if I, cool. I care it over, drill some holes in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> that teak is pretty good, and we can get a few bolts in there, and then below it we'll still have to put a backing block in. But this will allow us to get it located. Test fit. She loose, all right. Take up on the halyard. Start to come down. Taking into consideration when the boat's motoring through some swell, it'd be better if it were lower. But how to achieve that without dragging the mount through the swell too? Looks nice back there. <laughs> Such a good placement too. Yeah. Cut a little off the top of the mount so the outboard sits lower in the water. Fit, and then we'll pull the outboard back off and drill the rest of the holes. Yep. Okay. Ready. Ready. Hold. Hold. Coming down. Yep. Nice and clear. Hard over. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. That lock? Yep. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Just getting a drink now. <laughs> and it'll go down even further when you're underway as the stern squats a little bit. What a difference. <laughs>
has a negatory on the bilge there, boss. Waiting on you. <laughs> Waiting on me? Yeah, you got the key story. Oh, yeah. Oh, it splashed in my face. <laughs> Do it the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Damn, look at that. That's my girl. Look at that posture you got there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, she'll go. Oh, she'll go. She'll go. <laughs> I feel like this would be from a TV show or a TV series called Raiding My Grandma's Closet. <laughs> <laughs> this would be in there. <laughs> we want to take the safe road. Shut up. Hang it. <laughs> or we just want to, you know, nut up. And drill a hole. <laughs> I'm gonna hope for the best. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you put it like that.